there. I'm making another video on a video I saw from uh, scientist Michio Kaku. I know I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, but he's probably also never going to hear me pronounce it wrong, so I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, Mr. Kaku is a theoretical physicist. Very, very smart guy. Um, he's one of a number of scientists who, over the years, um, like Carl Sagan and Neil deGrasse Tyson and some others, um, have kind of become scientific ambassadors to the public. They bring more complex but interesting scientific ideas and make them, you know, where ordinary people can understand it. I think what they do is great. I've enjoyed, for instance, Mr. Kaku's work for a long time, which is why I've been watching his videos uh, produced by Big Think. Um, but the last two videos he's done kind of have me scratching my head. And I'm not sure why he's talking about what he's talking about, because he's a physicist, and he's talking about evolution, which is biology. So I'm, I'm not sure why he's not talking about physics. I kind of wish he would stick with his subject matter. But anyway, the first video I'm going to talk about is one I already made a video about, and I'll link it later in this video. So if you want to know what he said and what I said, you can watch those videos. Um, and his videos were made in one setting. You can tell he's wearing the same clothes, he has the same little poof of hair sticking out. Um, which also makes it stranger, because it's not like he went back in the second video to make clarifications on what he said in the first video, because of what, you know, critics had said about it. He made these videos at the same time. Um, and in the first video, he's talking about the development of alien intelligence and um, how in science fiction, aliens tend to be depicted as somewhat or extremely human um, in appearance and behavior, even in language. And in some of that video, he, video he's correct. And it's obvious. Um, if extraterrestrials were to come to Earth, they would not speak American English. That, that language evolved. You know, here. You wouldn't hear it from aliens. Um, but he also made some claims that were probably not correct, um, which I addressed in the other video I made about his video. Um, but then in his second video, he went on to state a bunch of reasons why his first video was wrong. And that's what I'm going to get into. And I'm going to give a little bit of background on the first video. In the first video, he was claiming that we make extraterrestrials too much like ourselves, and that they could be basically completely different, only intelligent. In the next video, the video on the evolution of intelligence, in which he is correct, um, he gives a list of certain criteria that science believes may be necessary, or at least highly conducive, to the evolution of human-level intelligence. Um, things like being a predator, and the development of language. Um, and then he also points out that if you, if you look at these criteria that are likely to lead to intelligence, the only species that we know of that has met them is us. And that's probably the reason why no other species in the history of Earth has developed human-level intelligence. We're it. Life has been on Earth for a billion years, actually more than that, um, Advanced life, multicellular life, has been on Earth for hundreds of millions of years, and we're the only species that has developed the, the kind of intelligence we have. Um, which leads a rational person to come to the conclusion that if these characteristics are necessary, or almost completely necessary, for the development of this type of intelligence, that's probably going to hold true on other planets also. If we were to meet extraterrestrial life, of course it's not going to be human, but it's probably going to have a lot of traits similar to humanity. I'm going to be more specific now with something he said in the first video and something he said in the next video, and I'm going to explain how these are contradictory. In the first video, as I said before, he said that um, extraterrestrial life wouldn't necessarily be territorial. 
At least I think I said that before. But he, he said that. He said extraterrestrial life wouldn't necessarily be territorial. There are lots of species on Earth that aren't territorial, but we tend to depict extraterrestrials like us, so we make them territorial. In the second video, he said two things. He said the development of language would be an important aspect in the development of intelligence. He's completely right about that. And he said that um, predators tend to be more intelligent than prey. So a species that is likely to develop human-level intelligence is probably also going to be a predator, like we are. We're predators. That's also true. Predators have to be more intelligent than prey in order to successfully prey on them. But here's the problem. Predators are almost all at least semi-territorial. Intelligent and social predators, like humans, chimpanzees, wolves, lions, hyenas, tend to not only be territorial, but tend to stake out well-defined territories and defend them violently against intruders. Now, this is not necessarily always the case. For instance, some sea mammals do not stake out territories like this because in order to prey on their prey species, they have to follow migratory patterns of those species. But, especially in terrestrial predators, we tend to find well-defined and defended territories. So it's reasonable to conclude that if there are intelligent extraterrestrial species, it is very likely, not certain, but very likely, they're territorial. They probably have a lot in common with us. It's surprising to me that someone as intelligent as Mr. Kaku which he's an extremely smart guy, he's smarter than I am, someone who is that intelligent would sit down and make one video saying one thing and then would make another video explaining why the first one was wrong. Um, anyway, I, I wish Mr. Kaku would stick to physics because he's good at that and he makes it interesting. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you will watch the other video about Mr. Kaku. I hope you'll watch other videos I've made, subscribe, like. If you don't like this video, tell me I'm full of crap. Um, thanks for watching, and bye.